We are the queer community. Our power comes from who we are. We'll continue to break down barriers, build bridges. Sure. What it do, y'all? What it do, y'all? <clears throat> I'm just up doing what I do in the lab, working. Sending some pictures to some people. What y'all got going on? Who still up, man? Friday morning early. Four o'clock. What's happening, Kyle? What's happening? Just finna jam up my nigga little can't know why I do some work. Finna uh, post some pictures and shit. Hey, what's good? What's good? Oh man, I'm just sitting back jamming on some little cane. Oh, that's my nigga right there, man. While, while I post these pictures I took tonight. Yeah. Oh man, I'm cool. I'm cool. Just networking, man. Oh, hey, and y'all check this out. Oh, let, let me turn this down. This important right here, man. This important. I'm about to turn my turn up again on my video show. So this time I'm gonna be uh, putting it out through a Roku channel <coughs> with um, Heinz Media Network HMN. Um, y'all probably know who that is. Um, we finna get ready to do a little something. So I'm gonna be taking all video submissions. I'm not charging nothing. Right now, I'm not worried about that. I just want to build up the content. <clears throat> so I'm going to be dropping a fly in the next day or so, uh, promoting it. So, yeah, no bullshit. Got to grind, man. Got to grind. Got to grind. You know, uh, uh, I'll make my money anyway. I offer people putting commercials in between. So I'm showing love right now. And that's what I want to do. I want to get everybody to submit their videos. And whatnot. That way, I I can put them in. I'm a, I'm deciding if I'm gonna do a 30 minute show to start off with or an hour. I'll probably do a 30 minute little show, play about seven or eight videos, something like that. You know, what I'm saying something simple, and uh, build up me a full season. That way, when I submit it, I got a full season's worth of uh, video content to play. You know, what I mean, got to do it the right way. I don't want to have to sit back and be doing it every time and lose focus. I, I know what I'm doing right now, so I'm going to get everybody to submit music videos. Then I'm going to line them up, make about 10 seasons worth of videos, and then we're going to drop it on Roku. If y'all doing movies, uh, Dr. Series, any of that, man, let me know. I'm taking all that. Okay, bet, 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 <coughs> bet. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be ready for it. I'm gonna be ready for it. I don't care how many y'all seeing. I don't care how many you seeing. Cause I can do a different one each show. You know what I'm saying? So shit. Yeah, for shit show. Now, if y'all know business owners that got, like, little food trucks or, or, or like, how Mo got her shit over there, she got Salon 180 <clears throat> or whatever, you know people like that that got little small businesses that want to uh, throw some little 15 to 30 second commercials in, then let me know. That's why I can make my little money out for them to keep everything going. For all this dope music videos, that's free. That's free. We, we, we finna go on the turn. We've been having access to the Roku channel for a couple of years now, so, you know, it's... It's time to go on and do something with it. We gotta make something shake. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it, man. 
Appreciate it. One thing I know, man, uh, uh, artists need another <laughs> another platform for their music videos. The more promotion you get, the better for you as an artist if you're trying to really get some money. For one, you'll be able to collect uh, uh, performance rights. We license all that good shit, but we really want to. We really trying to deal with like the underground more so than the mainstream. Cause it's y'all that need, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all need that promotion and that push just like we do. You know what I mean? We know how it is at the bottom. We, we ain't, we ain't doing no bullshitting. And even if you in the middle or semi to the top, yeah, we fuck with that. <clears throat> we know everybody had to go through it. My nigga Lil Kano, man. That, this who did my, my, my plug me radio song. Lil Kano did my plug me in radio song. Okay, that's a bit. That's a bit. Yeah, I, I'll do the same. Hey, man, I'm with it. If if if, if that's hey if that's what happened that's what happened man I, I'm, I'm with all the positivity you know and I know everybody it, it's it's a place for everybody at the right time yeah for sure for sure yeah I appreciate that man that that's good positive motivation man for sure so. <laughs> Right, 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 right. Right. Yeah, I'll be getting around, man. I'll be getting around a little bit. I still got some more shit coming up. I'm trying to trying to stack my money up so I can go do some more shit. Everything else is gonna be out of state though. Atlanta, New York, Miami, um, Mississippi. Got to go back to the home state for a little bit. <clears throat> but I got, um, if y'all going to be out there at the Rolling Loud concert, man, in Miami, man, y'all look for me. I got plans to be there. I already got my, my passes and all that shit, so I'm just I'm just trying to make sure I get there. That's, that's just opening more doors for the shit we're doing. What's up, June? Hey, the, the, uh, the OG Miss June in the building. What's going on, man? Yeah, we, we turning up, June. Look, this was going down. Let, let me turn this down a little bit so, so I can let her know what's going down. I'm finna start my video channel back up. And it's gonna be on Roku. So right now I'm doing all free submissions. I'm not charging no artists, nothing. All, I, all you gotta do is submit it. I don't care how many videos. Cause I'm putting together, I'm gonna put together a whole season. It should take me about two to three weeks to organize all the videos on one session, on one show. 30 minute show, maybe something like that, seven, eight videos. And then I'm gonna drop them, that way we have a whole season worth of shit already ready. Oh, for sure show, for sure show. Yeah, and then this is another platform for y'all to be able to get y'all performance royalties too. And, and and so y'all know, if y'all don't know, you might know, but I like to tell everybody, you know, all the artists this, because there's something important. When I'm playing people music on live, they can get performance royalties for that. No matter how I play it, whether it's from my, my own playlist, from you emailing it to me, Spotify, whatever. If I play your music on live, you can get with your... Um, with your publishing company being my ASCAP, CSAC, GBR, Pro Music Rights, whoever you with, or your own, and report it, because <clears throat> I always save my live, and I repost them. That way you can go back and use that as evidence to them that your song was played on my live at this time, at this time, and rock out. And remember, when y'all playing y'all, when y'all on live from now on, don't play nobody else shit, but it underground or your own, that way you can collect royalties out for that, performance royalties. Free game. I, I, I want to see everybody get paid. Too much money to go around, my nigga. And, and then you y'all know what? We we got we gotta spread the word to do a lot better with with networking with each other in Houston too, man. 
we, we got one of the biggest networks right now. But we the poorest too. Niggas got money. But as a whole, we should have been doing what Atlanta doing. No shade or hate on them niggas down there, but we should have been doing that shit, my nigga, for real. Ace Town got too many heavy hitters and hard hitters and important people that know the industry and got plugs in the industry everywhere that we shouldn't all be making big money out here as artists. There should be no reason artists should be envying each other or jealous of each other if we all work together in some form or fashion. This shit too easy, man. We we make it hard by not wanting to work with the next motherfucker. If we gonna spend that money, why not spend it with each other? No shade on the white folks or the Hispanics and no shit like that, but I'm just being real. They spend money with they self, that's how they get what they get. Why we can't do it? Yeah, facts. They don't. They don't. You got damn right. And, and exactly all three of them places. That, hey, I ain't gonna lie. Dallas fuck around too, though, a little bit. Dallas fuck around too. Yeah, we definitely knocking them down because a lot more of us are coming together and working together. See, I'm one of them people. I fuck with all type of promoters. 380, Flacco Flair, uh, uh, you know, I'll come, I'll come to Lux Tavern and fuck with them sometime. I'll go to all different clubs. Man, I don't care who it is. I, I, I don't talk about nobody. I don't have no hate on nobody. I want to work with everybody so that we can all keep building like that. It's, it's too many artists in Houston for us not to be fucking around, man. We were, um, let me see. I think we're third or fourth largest state. No bullshit. No bullshit. <clears throat> and I'm talking all levels from pop. I done heard some under some man, some boys live and girl on their pop. The rapping. Some of the little Hispanic fellas doing their thing. Man, I underground stupid down here, man. On every fucking genre down here, bro. We, we Houston is live, man. And, and we get, man, hey. I would like to say we got to do better at working together. Ain't no reason to be jealous of the next nigga. I want to know how you got that much money so I can get that much money. I want to know how you got that Bentley so I can go get me a Bentley. I don't want yours. Yours ain't going to do me no good. I, I need my own shit. For real. And it, like I said, it's too easy to drop little simple gems like that to teach people how to get paid. Hey, that shit free. Support is free. The more, just a, a simple thing, like the more we follow each other and build our numbers up <coughs> on certain platforms, <coughs> then we can all be... <coughs> <laughs> That's Zaza, <awesome>, man. <laughs> <coughs> then we can all be monetized, right? Then I ain't got to worry about your, your money. I don't worry about your money anyway. But and now you ain't got to worry about the next nigga money. If, if we help each other run each other up to a thousand followers on TikTok, we can get monetized. Now you can go live and actually make money with people gifting you and subscribing. Instagram is 10,000. Then you can get the badges and people can support. Hey, man, how easy is that for us just to... Tell people to follow each other and encourage each other so we can figure out how to make our own money being monetized. I'm just saying, though. Uh, That's simple shit to me, bro. I be hating when them people follow you <clears throat> and then in a couple days unfollow you. Like, that shit's so lame. They don't even know what to do with it. Cause I, I ain't got time to be worrying about who done unfollow me and all that old shit. I ain't got time to be worried about that. But they don't even know what to do with it. They build up all these followers just because just it look good in the number. You don't even know how much money you could be making. Hey, man, if you got over 200,000 followers, my people will pay you to promote and advertise on your page. It's too much money out here. It's too easy to make some consistent money. Yeah, shit like that. Yeah, YouTube is a thousand subscribers too. I be hating that shit too. Everybody get online, they be talking about 
subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, but then you don't subscribe back to my channel. I'm still wanting to land. Why my shit ain't going up? But I'm subscribing and you showing love. I don't got time to be looking for that shit. I just want to, you know, support and promote the people I fuck with so we can all build up. That We need that. We need that thousand subscribers on YouTube so we can get monetized and teach each other how to make the simple money. We need that thousand on, on TikTok so you can get on there and build your network. And then every time you have little PKs and battles, people gifting you. You're making money. 10,000 uh, followers on Instagram. My people do that shit organic. It's worth the money. Organic. Every person on there is real. Because we don't do buys. We won't do that shit. Because we're trying to get you to where you can be monetized. Now imagine you on five streaming sites and you monetize whether you do music or not. And you making money. Just because people getting on listening to you talking to whoever you talking to. Playing your music or whatever. Come on, man. That's the easy part of support. Hey, let's help each other run numbers up so we can get monetized on these sites and then support again like that too. Hey man, that's simple love. That's simple love, bro. No bullshit. <laughs> bro, that nigga hit me down like a motherfucker. That's simple shit though, y'all. Real shit. You can do... How you do what? Help each other build the numbers up? Oh, oh we, we have a system and we have a team of people that <clears throat> when they go, when we, whenever we take one of your posts, we spend probably five or six hours a day and we go to real accounts and promote your whatever whatever post you send us and people will come back. We'll we'll always do a like, share, comment, follow, and put it in and, and we actually sit down and spend hours going through real profiles. We know which ones is real and which ones ain't. They they, they have a uh, they have a business account that's like how Spotify is where you can where you can see like the back page and see all the analytics. They got a system like that. So we know which ones are real. Because one thing about doing bots, you'll get kicked out certain sites if you use bots. Because you got 10,000 motherfuckers to see this, and then when they get time to pay your money out, you only got a thousand, you only get paid for a thousand worth that was real. Then they gonna start tag flagging you. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna fuck with that shit. Like all them people that claim to do that and they be DMing you, I don't go for that bullshit. It depends on how many followers you're trying to get. Like we'll start out with something simple like $400 for 10,000, 5,000 or 10,000 followers. I forget what exactly what it is. I got to look at the chart again because we be changing it all the time doing promo deals. So I got to look at it and see. Uh, but you'll get like 5,000 or 10,000. We give you a, a 90 day guarantee. Then, you know, the higher numbers, of course, you know, the, the price go up, but it's all guaranteed. And it's not one of them, we're going to do it in 30 days. We, we, the higher the number is and the better content you send, the least amount of time it takes us to do it. Same thing like YouTube. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Since you just joined in, I, I'm finna start my, my video channel back up so that people can submit their videos. Oh. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, we the best marketing company around on, on, on the on the nationwide and worldwide scale. I'm not discrediting nobody that's on the local level that's making shit happen. But when you when you want some global and nationwide shit, we the true. We the true. Verdict Studios, yeah, we, we get it in. Like that that really why a lot of times 
Y'all don't see me out like that. I'm going to start back getting out a lot more uh, once I get another vehicle. <clears throat> but I really haven't been because I've been doing everything online, getting everything organized. Like, I'm, it's a lot of shit going on. I know people that have uh, movies coming up that they're working on. Uh, my boy T-Pat has one. It's called Inheritance. I posted that. He got a movie. Uh, Candy Struthers is making a movie out there in uh, L.A., Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Tap in. Just, just keep me informed. Let me know what's up. You're like, I got, I got a Dallas show coming up. I got to make sure I get there. I got a New York show coming up. Uh, the Loud Fest in Miami. I think that's in August. And there's a couple of things, a couple of more things throughout the month. I'm go, uh, the show that um, that Kel and I'm having over there at Lux Tavern. Okay, yeah, right, 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 yeah, right, right. Well, once you get that done, yeah, you in the dough. Then I gotta go back to Lux Tavern again with 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 uh, Flacco Flair. I'm a boy, man. I fuck with Flacco. Yeah, I've been fucking with Flacco for a while. So that, that one of them solid niggas in the game right there, man. Bro, bro, hit me up, man. I need you. Shit, say less, but I'm coming. If you got people like that in your corner, man, that, that's that's how you build a solid team of people that network. Oh, that's live. What convention you got coming up? Yeah, Flacco, cool as fuck, man. That's my nigga, man. He take care of me. Yeah, what's the convention uh, Rick Ross having in November? I don't think I heard about that one yet. Cause whatever it is, I need to take that my, that Zen Edge energy drink. Me and my homeboy distributing down there. That energy drink not even in no stores in Texas yet. We'll be the first ones to put it in Texas. She got a contract with Walmart, but they haven't they haven't. Uh, Finish the paperwork to do the shipping yet. Yeah. Okay, okay. Coast to coast convention. You taking all this down there or y'all going as media? <laughs> oh, that's live. Oh, that's live. That's live. Oh, for sure, show. That's a good look. Yeah, my home girl that I be fucking with that that that's that own the uh, Verdict Studio. She she a and R up there too. I be trying to tell the artists like, no, nah, I'm I'm really a one stop shop, bro. I mean, they can sleep on me if they want to, and in, in, in about four more months, some of them gonna be out of price range. I, I show love to the people that's been showing love to me, but these new niggas gonna be out of there. Yeah, I try, you know, I, I'm still a humble nigga though, bro. Like, I, I try to, I help point a nigga in the right direction. It's up to them to do what they want to do with it, though, man. Like, you know, we, we still all businessmen, no matter what capacity. Management, artists, media, promoters. You know, it, it costs money for us to do the shit that we do. Oh, no shit. Oh, that was lying. That boy fired me. Yeah, he worked his ass off. Yeah, he worked his ass off. And that, hey, that, that that nigga that nigga got a good ear for music, man. 
he know when it's time to turn up. Like, he, he can recognize good quality talent. Yeah, he loud. I really should have been an A and O for one of them motherfuckers as much as I be in the underground scene. Like I I be having action at all them major shows, uh that be coming to Houston, the baby and all them motherfuckers. Like I I, I don't be really wanting to go. I, I don't really be wanting to go. I mean it's cool. I know I can go anytime I want to like that, but I'm just more comfortable working with the underground like that because that's, I mean, hey, them the niggas that show me love all these years I've been fucking around. So I don't know, I, I, I just got to keep it on that level. Eventually, I'll, I'll go and uh, pop up at a few shows and do some things, but not right now. Oh, that's live. That's live. Yeah, I know on the twenty fifth we having a uh, bad box of movie, red carpet mo uh, movie premiere here in Houston. They just did uh, Detroit and Chicago. Uh, me and my boy Mac with Just Be You magazine, we gonna be on the red carpet doing interviews at that at the bad box of movie premiere with Momo Core. Yeah. Yeah, I need some things with that. That's what we do. We promote that so. <laughs> when the movie finally come out, we'll have a lot of content that's already been promoted. It's gonna be live. He got uh, Floyd Mayweather and, and his brother in the movie. That's gonna be a big show, huh? Bro, this is some good ass motherfucking weed right here, y'all. That's a bet, that's a bet. Yeah, for sure. Hey, I'm, I'm, hey, what's good, man? <coughs> I'm going I'm to I'm tell y'all another good way free to, to build up your followers on Instagram and shit like that is use that uh, invite collaborator. Man, that shit works. It's, it's good. It shows a lot of networking and, and it, it allows both of y'all followers to see each other and see each other. Well, see y'all posts and see who's doing what. And people will start, more, more people will start viewing your shit and more people will start following you. You need to get to the level to where you monetize, bro. That's just how that is, too. It. Yeah. If, if, if you're going to. Uh, that's live. I want to see some footage of that show. If everybody help everybody get monetized just by doing the free shit for helping each other build up followers, it shouldn't be no reason niggas should be out here acting like they jealous and envious and, and harboring hating enmity towards a motherfucker, bro. Getting monetized ain't hard. If you got people that's gonna support and help you run them numbers up, you gotta we gotta constantly post content. <clears throat> that's one. Two, you gotta be, you, you gotta have some quality content that represents what you're doing. Cause I see a lot of artists you go to their page, they got a ton of pictures of memes and them eating food and posing and modeling and shit. But I don't see none of your music posts. I don't see none of your creative content posts. I, I don't see none of that shit. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's what's up. Like, that, that's, that, well, at me in the, in the, in, in the, behind the scenes, media aspect of, of the industry, 
I don't want to go to your page and see that if you tell me you'll notice. I want to go. It's cool every now and then, but I don't. I want to go and see the big majority, like eighty percent of your page, is shit that reflects what you do. Cause that's why I'm there. I'm a businessman. That's why I'm there. I'm looking to network and do some form of business for you, whether it's media stuff, a marketing, a promotion and advertising, uh, uh, just support. Period. That's what I'm there for. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, a brand ambassador. Where? That's what I'm looking for. <clears throat> I, I I don't I can't. Right out, just first glance, I can't take you serious as an artist that's, that's, that's about that craft, cause you're not even promoting your shit. That's how you promote your shit is by constantly posting stuff that reflects what it is you do. Clean, it's gotta be tight pots. Water content based. And then networking with, with people that Yeah. yeah. My nigga look can't know focus on ball. Yeah, people people don't take you serious when you don't do shit like that. And you know what I'm saying, man, the objective is to get monetized, because we need all sorts of income we can get. <laughs> There's too much money out there for that shit. Yeah, no bullshit. No bullshit. No bullshit. Like, we got to learn how to use our, our, each other's resources in the capacity that they need to be. You know, sometimes we got to we gotta do some things as we build up. But we, if we're going to spend some money... Oh, we're going to give some support. Why not give it to the people that we fuck with instead of calling the outside and giving them the money and then want it all free from you? No, man. Oh, yeah, that's how it stood. That's how it stood. Hey, man, I'm one of them niggas you can tap in all the time anyway. You ain't got to wait till you got nothing going on because you might... Yeah, yeah, I already know it. You, you might have something brewing in your mind and once we get to talking, it'll it'll come out, and we can probably build on something. Shit, no, yeah, don't be scared to hear my line. I, shit, most of the time in the daytime, I'm on the computer. I ain't really doing shit. Just uh, networking, video chatting, calling people all all day long. Hey, I, I I keep a notepad over here with a pen. I'm, I'm telling you, I, that's like all day long. We just might get some shit going on. Instead of waiting till you got something going on, we might get some shit going on that'll help what you got going on. Who knows? I just, me, hey, me and my boy Mac, we, man, we don't be doing no way. We, we on, uh, every other day, we brainstorming on something. <clears throat> yeah, I needed that blunt, man. Yeah, appreciate it, appreciate it for sure, man. For sure, man. Yeah, what I like to do, man. I, I, I told Blocko we gotta, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be doing uh, appearances on podcasts with all type of people, man. Me and Flacco be on, gonna get on there and talk about some shit. I got the, my my blast that ass uh, series coming back. My wife, man, it's a lot of shit going on. You gotta keep your mind at work. That, that, that that's that's the only thing that's gonna make that shit a reality. We're going to have our down days, but uh, we, 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 we got to do away with that shit. Man, that nigga Kano got so much shit in the archives, it's ridiculous, man. I could literally play his whole entire catalog 24 hours a day for probably two weeks without ever turning the music on. All right, I'm going to do that. Oh, 
gonna probably do another music review tomorrow and, and, and drop some more shit. I, I made a uh, I am heavy Chevy uh, birthday mix. His birthday was the other day, and I've been playing it a couple times on there for my fuck with that boy. Monkey business, all right. <laughs> hey, uh, Young King, check this out. Before you jump off the live, this what I'm doing, man. I'm taking, uh, I'm going to be dropping another flyer in a few days, and, and I'm going to be um, doing video submissions so I can put it on my, uh, my, my music video channel and publish it on Roku. All right. Who y'all with? Distro Kid? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing publishing. Uh, I mean, a uh, 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 distribution with Revenue Play. We twenty four ninety nine a year. We got marketing uh, packages, all that shit, and we got some streaming platforms that's in South America that pay twenty five to thirty cent a streaming. No bullshit. Oh, tune for all right. Yeah, we killing all that shit. We we drop on Napster, our heart radio, our, all the high paying uh, stream site. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, that, that, that yeah, that's gonna look good right there. <laughs> Get you a nice one. <laughs> you know it's great. Hey, this nigga Kano don't write none of his music. All that shit off the dome. I'm telling you, I can listen. I, I can run run a whole man. Run that nigga catalog. 24 hours a day, seven days a week for about two weeks, and never turn the radio off. I mean, never turn the the, the, the computer off. That's a lot of goddamn music, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, all oh, man. He did the the beat for my plug man radio song. He did the beat. Spit the, uh, two verses, mixed and mastered in one hour and five minutes. Everything he's saying in that song was based off a conversation me and my homegirl that on Verdi Studios I was talking about was having on the phone. I had it on speakerphone and we was talking 
business and that everything he was saying, he saying in that song is, is stuff me and I was talking about. Hey, that boy a genius, man. That's why he called the machine. <laughs> he can do a whole album in one night, twelve songs. I was in the studio when he made that bitch. Like it's like a movie people. Got so many classic ass hits, man. Lone River Ranch Rita is a margarita style beverage. Let's run to my other playlist. Run, run, run some of this, this unheard shit. Some shit that nobody heard yet. Y'all, some exclusive shit, right quick. All right, that's a bit. That's a bit. <laughs> 